It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. In a career spanning over 50 years, Geraldo Rivera has been one of TV's most prominent and respected personalities. Considered one of the purveyors of tabloid TV, Rivera has interviewed countless newspapers and covered dozens of hard-hitting issues. Born Gerald Michael Rivera on Independence Day 1943, the Brooklyn-bred journalist has Puerto Rican ancestry on his father's side and is Jewish on his mother's side, though he has acknowledged that he was raised mostly Jewish. Younger brother Craig, also a journalist, would fall in 1954. Rivera's family was sometimes subjected Objected to prejudice and racism, and his mother took to spelling their surname as Riviera to avoid having bigotry directed at them. Receiving a B.S. in business administration in 1965, Rivera took on a series of odd jobs from clothing salesman to short order cook, and later worked as an attorney. It was during this period of Rivera's life that he found his calling in Al Primo, then news director for WABC TV in New York. However, Primo, who didn't want the first name Gerald, wanted something more identifiably Latino, so they agreed to go with the pronunciation used by the Puerto Rican side of Rivera's family, Geraldo. Not only that, Rivera grew his signature mustache and has kept it ever since. In 1972, he garnered national attention for his report on the neglect and abuse of patients with intellectual disabilities. The piece earned the soon-to-be star a Peabody Award. By the late 70s, Geraldo Rivera was working for ABC News, where he contributed reports to 2020 and Nightline. In 1983, Rivera became the first network TV journalist to mention AIDS by this name. Other names have been used in the previous two years, as the disease was poorly understood at the time. In 1985, Rivera was fired by ABC News for criticizing his boss, Rude Arledge, when he refused to air a report done by Sylvia Chase for 2020 on the relationship between Marilyn Monroe and the Kennedys. In 1987, Rivera was given his eponymous daytime talk show that ran through 1998. Concurrently, he hosted his own interview program on CNBC, Rivera Live. On one 1988 episode of his talk show, Rivera's nose was broken in a well-publicized brawl involving white supremacists, anti-racist skinheads, black activist royalists, and militant Jewish activists. In 1992, he published a memoir, Exposing Myself, covering his storied career in journalism. Later at CNBC, he hosted another nightly program, Upfront Tonight. In 2001, Rivera left the network to join Fox News Channel, initially serving as a war correspondent. He soon took on other roles in the network, including a recent gag as a rotating co-host on The Five, filling the liberal seat vacated by the late Bob Beckold and his successor Juan Williams, who often switched off with Beckold. Although Rivera has been identified politically as a Republican, he holds some strong pro-choice views. Last June, he announced that he would be departing The Five on June 30th, but would remain with Fox. A week later, Rivera announced that he had been fired from the program hours before his scheduled June 29th appearance. As a result, he quit Fox News after 21 years. Though most sources say it was 23 years, citing in quotes, growing tension that goes beyond editorial differences and personal annoyances and gripes. Married five times, Rivera has admitted to having a multi-year affair with Miriam Javits, the wife of New York Senator Jacob Javits, until 1985. His pastimes include sailing, as he once owned the sailing vessel Voyager. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country, Y95.